Welcome to Landria Uncon YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. Well, I've been on vacation for a few days, but you know, I realized when I came back here today to Atlanta, I'm pretty much always on vacation. We don't live our lives like that, do we? We live our lives working, struggling, and then we hope for those few days when we can relax. But have you ever noticed like when you go on vacation, you're so stressed out ahead of time. Even now when I get ready for vacation, the most stressful part, I guess, if that's even stress, if, if that even qualifies, is just getting ready for it. Packing, having all the right stuff, hauling everything to the car or the airport. And we just don't enjoy anything. Then we get there, then we're, you know, trying to have a good time. We're scheduling things and then we're planning to get back and to de-stress. And life shouldn't work that way. It can be completely different for you. You really can live a life without stress and suffering. We're choosing it. Every choice that you make during the day determines the path of your life. So when I came back, I realized, oh my gosh, I actually really don't have anything that I have to do because I've chosen that life. Now, don't say, oh, well, you know, I'm privileged. I made a big decision to shift into a completely different life. One that was better for me, one that made me feel empowered, one that pulled me away from everything I don't love and the traditional world. You can do that. And everybody's, oh, well, that's easy for you to say no. You always have opportunities and probabilities. I want to share that with you today because I think so many people don't think that they have choices. You always have choices. And trust me, as bad as it seems, to make those choices when you do it, it is empowering. Do things that you're comfortable with, that allow you to maybe take baby steps if that's what you need, to get to where you need to be. But I'm telling you right now, everything that we do, this is our life. I was just upstairs and looking at my closets and, and all the things, I was thinking, well, you know, I, I should organize things and, and put a few things to, to away today, which is great. And I thought, how much time do we spend doing all that stuff for what? For what? That is our life. We're going, then, then we're going to be gone. We're not going to get to experience this. How much time do you spend prepping for this life and not living it? Does that make sense? When I say prepping for it, the cleaning, the running around, the taking the kids everywhere, and then not really enjoying the soccer game because you all these things you have to talk about and do or whatever. Prepping for the vacation, and then I've had my friends tell me that, that they have to come back from vacation to relax because they spend their whole time, you know, uh, as moms, doing all the work on the vacation. There's nothing, that's not, that's not how it should be. When do you make that shift and decide that you're going to start living your life every single moment on the highest frequency? You're going to choose the highest thoughts. You're going to let go of the worrying. Isn't it time? Just let it go. It's just, it's, we, we crowd our minds and our heads and then we pollute ourselves with all the other stuff out there. I didn't even know what was going on with our government or anything. Hi, sweetheart. I have a little kitty cat that wants to, needs attention. And you know what? When Coo, my little stray cat, you know, meows and comes up to me, I will break away and I give him my attention. And I pat him or I brush him or what he loves to be brushed. And I look in that little face and I realize whatever I was doing can wait. I need to give this little guy my attention. This is the relationships. These are the things that are important. Not to make him happy. Uh, you know, how many times we do brush the cat, brush the cat, pat him, pat him while you're over here. No, I pull over and I give him attention because I too can be distracted and lose sight of the present moment. Every moment counts in your life. Every single moment, not the stuff you do to get to the place you want to be, but everything you're doing along that way. And most of it is going on up here. Because even if you're in a job that you don't love, it's really the story you're telling yourself as you're going through it that makes it worse. 
if it's not what you love doing, the focus should be on what you love doing or making the best of that situation or making that situation really great. If you're really great at work, maybe you get a promotion and you get out of there. Maybe they put you someplace else or relocate you. But if you come in with a bad attitude and you're suffering and you're suffering with the other people and you've got all these negative thoughts, you actually stay in that lower frequency of what you don't want to be. Raise those frequency thoughts, actions. I just did a video on changing your environment. You change your reality in every split second because if you stay here, you're going on this path. If you even changed a thought, you are now going on a different reality. It's not some big complex thing. You, you shift over because that thought now created you to think about something else. And now you're thinking and acting slightly, maybe even just slightly different. Just slightly different. It puts you in a different place, a different frame of mind, a different energy. And your life actually shifts over here. And you can shift on the higher frequency, which means that you go off into a much higher frequency reality. You really have that much control. Somebody said, it's not that simple. It is that simple. We tell ourselves that it's not. We create some big complex thing. It's science and quantum physics. And no, quantum physics was real simple. My thought changed the experiment, the results of the experiment. Everything I was looking at actually changed because I was observing it. That's it. In other words, the entire universe reacts with you, not to you, with you. I really want to be clear on that because people think it's this and there's a reaction. This is you. It is you reacting as you react because it is part of your energy. There is no delay in that. They've had part, right? Split particles. Boom. Not boom, boom. Boom. In other words, everything right now is you. Shifting, 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 shifting. You're so in control. It isn't funny. I want you to know that because that's a wonderful feeling to think, Okay, I've been believing all this other stuff. I'm trapped or whatever. Every single moment is your life. What are you going to do with it? Are you caught up in the minutia? Are you going to say, you know what? I'm not going to do my closet. I'm going to go out and play with my kids. Or we're going to go for a walk. Or kids, get up from the dinner table. We're done. Let's go out. We're going to all take a walk. And we're going to point out all the wonderful things. Come on up here, baby. Come here. You can come up here see Mama. Love feels so good, doesn't it? The love of an animal, of everything. The love of plants. I was on vacation. Oh, sweetheart. Come here. Here, up. Oh. Oops. Sorry. He wasn't real happy about me picking him up. It gets a little weird sometimes. The love of everything is so important. When you're focused on that and creating that, more things that you love come into your life. So be your best at your job and then say, okay, if, if, if this job, I'm never going to love it. How do I find something new? How do I find that new place? That thing where I'm going to be really at least um, joyful to get up in the day and there's things about that I love. What aspects do I love? You know, find it. Go pursue it. This is your life. Don't wait. Every moment counts. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow on this linear, linear time line of Earth's. We just don't know. And the more you create a higher frequency, the higher the frequency of the planet. And then the fourth and fifth dimension you will participate in. If you don't, you're going to stay in the third dimension and be very unhappy and not know why. And everybody around you is going to be that way. You know why? Because the fourth and fifth dimension people will have trans... <sighs> cat hair. Transitioned to that frequency and you won't even know it. You won't even know it happened. They're going to be living in a different reality because they chose it. You can choose it. 
You're like, how do I do that? Just be on your higher frequency. Choose the highest thoughts. Choose the highest actions. Choose actions toward what you love. Choose actions toward passion. Choose actions of, of love and... Can you see him? Here's Koo. Isn't he cute? Sorry about that. I got this on a stand, so I can't move it around that much. Well, choose actions that make you at least hopeful and joyful that things are changing and that you will be rewarded, not just when you transition, but here. Because you're going to create that higher frequency. You're going to be a happier person. You're going to feel good about where you're going. Even if you don't know what that is, you don't have to know where that is. The universe takes care of that. Why? You're connected it, it, to it in a way that's so much higher. And you are making those decisions. You may not even know it because in this dense body, you're not connected to that. Usually. In a way that you understand. There's some people that do. They have those abilities. But most people don't have those abilities to really understand what's going on in their highest frequency on the other side. You're still making decisions at all times, but you have to make the decision here and the other side of which you are always connected will make those things align you with those things. You're always aligning yourself with something. Why not choose joy? All right, so every moment counts. Don't do this to get to this. This should be a part of that every single moment and your life will start to change because you're shifting constantly into new realities and pretty soon you're going to go wow some big things are happening when you thought you were just doing little things everything counts everything's big everything's big and the more you focus on it the more you will shift into that expansive beautiful place and you're going to feel it and know it and you may be feeling it now a lot of you have you're sharing awesome stories about how you've changed your lives and abundance has flowed and relationships and money and jobs and you're feeling good you're feeling good about your life and you're giving more that's what it's all about loving each other sharing raising our frequency being happy the rest we don't take it with us right so focus on this, what you're telling yourself, the story, what you can strive for. You don't like something, change it. It's up to you to hold that power because you're strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. You're whole and perfect. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.